Also new tonight, we need to brace for more extreme heat, fires, and flooding. That's according to the state's top climate expert who's looking at trends over the next 10 years. It is not the news we wanted to hear. Adam Bennett spoke with him today. He has reaction also from Houston's mayor, and Adam joins us from College Station tonight. Adam? The head of the Texas A&M team behind the study says their findings here in College Station have implications across Texas. A warming climate they believe means growing danger for extreme weather. Inside Texas A&M's tallest building, Dr. John Nielsen Gammon has the tall task of tracking Texas climate trends. The things we know we can plan for, things we don't know we can allow for different possibilities. He was appointed state climatologist by then Governor George W. Bush in 2000. Recently, Dr. Nielsen Gammon authored an updated report predicting climate trends through 2036. His team analyzed data from 1900 through last year. Climate change is real is an obvious takeaway. Dr. Nielsen Gammon says it's driven by greenhouse gas increases and the pace aligns with climate model projections. That obviously gives us confidence that the changes we've seen are actually part of a long-term trend rather than just natural variability. His finding on the number of 100 degree days surprised him most. More than doubled since the 1970s and is, is still increasing so that the total change is probably going to be a quadrupling by the year 2036. His report predicts more intense rainfall and more flooding in cities. Take any flood that you've had historically and and add 25% more water to it. The report highlights Houston as a hotspot for more frequent flooding. Closer to the coast, sea level rise and sinking land mean higher hurricane risk. Every foot and a half of sea level rise increases the risk of storm surge inland by about a factor of two. Today, Mayor John Whitmire said the city is better prepared than during Hurricane Harvey. This recent windstorm and in, in probably a tornado through across Houston just showed us you got to be ready 24-7. Next Monday, Dr. Nielsen Gammon plans to speak with state lawmakers about the risk from the heat and the cold to the state's power grid. That'll be during a Texas House committee hearing. Lena Mia. There's such a wide expanse of land here, which means all the more weather and different weather systems that we have all the time. It's yeah. all bigger in Texas. Yeah, we hear from David Paul all the time as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Adam.